So I, I mentioned there were two moments in the game when you were a strike away from them winning and you came back, freezes triple in the ninth, Lance, your base hit, two outs. I think it was a 2-2 count, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when you're up there in the 10th inning and you drive in the tying run with a base hit. Take us through the at-bat. What do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, I mean, I no joke, like I had been praying because I knew that hitting behind Albert, they were going to walk him. And, and so I felt like at some point the series was going to come down to one of my at-bats. And, you know, I'm a Christian and I believe in prayer and I've been praying like, Lord, just if I, if I have a chance to, if, if this, if I'm in the grease, would you just let me be able to focus and concentrate and not be overcome by the moment? I wasn't like praying for a hit or success, but just let me be able to relax. Let me be able to focus. Let me get calm and just compete. And I mean, I was so nervous in the on deck circle. And as soon as I saw them, I knew they were going to walk Albert. But as soon as I took that donut off and, and walked up to the plate, it was like this, calm and peace and focus came over me that I rarely if ever had you know if for it was like all of my baseball experience culminated in that one at bat and I can like when I watch it and see the replay like I can actually see the focus on my face like and and just the absence of any other thought and you know I wasn't afraid of failing I mean I was literally in the moment competing as well as I could compete and Really, you know, uh, Scott threw a great pitch. That ball was like a 93 mile hour cutter kind of on the inside corner. And I was able to fight it off back up the middle. So he competed well, too. Uh, but, but I just remember being totally, totally locked in on what my job was, which is to try to get a good pitch to hit and to try to have a tough at bat. And I don't remember, I was not concerned about the outcome at all, which, I mean, I, I you know, when I'm coaching, I try to use that story to illustrate that that's what to me what total concentration is is when you can block everything else out but what you're supposed to be doing 